Okay, welcome to tutorial number two on how to put life bars into your Mujin game. All right, uh, for this tutorial, I just downloaded the Street Fighter Third Strike life bars because I didn't think a special life bar would be important here, but whatever. So I have the the RAR folder that it came with opened right here, and we have a sh the Street Fighter Third Strike life bar sound file, SFF file, uh, the def file, a font folder, and then this README, which you just ignore or whatever comes in your life bar pack that you downloaded. What we want to do here is we can just exit out of it, we can right click it, and just like we did with the Ken character in the last tutorial, we just hit extract to SF3TS underscore life bars. Just click that, and then it's going to extract it into the data folder. And then boom, there's the folder. Let's just open it up here. Now here's all the things that you need to worry about right here. The SFF file, the sound file, the def file, and the font folder. Now as you can see here, this is SF3TS underscore lifebars.dev. When if you look, Mujin uses the simple uh where's that? Fight.dev and fight.sff so what we need to do here is, is we need to rename some of these fo these files here so what we can just do is we go back into our sf3ts fo folder and we can just want to click right click on the def file now you won't have to do this with all life bars but you might with some and just rename it to fight.def just like that and then do the same thing with this one rename and just fight.sff and then this one I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think it's fight.sound and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it and if it isn't then we can just come back and change it now let's just copy these files right here and just go back and just paste them click yes to all it's just gonna replace the fo the the files now since uh, this Mujin isn't the one I use you're just gonna you're gonna wanna back up the full the files you just replaced just in case these life bars don't work now we can go back into our life bar folder that we extracted and you're going to see another folder in here called the font folder let's open it up look at all the fonts now what we're going to want to do here is let's just go back to our fight.def file click it open yep see all these right here, it tells it what fonts to use while it's playing. Now, like I showed you before how we renamed the files, you're going to want to rename this to fight.snd and this one to fight.sff. Okay, just like that. And save it. Now go back into the SF3TS life bars folder. Click on the font folder or right click it and click copy. Go back. Go back. And then you're going to see another folder in here, font, which is right there. Just paste. Yes to all. And then it'll just replace that old font folder with the new SF3TS life bars font folder. Come on, buddy. Go faster. And there it is. It's replaced. Now go into your data folder just to double check one time and make sure the, the paths to the font and the SFF and sound files are, are right. Okay. Go into the fight.def. This file right here basically just tells Mujin what files to use when the... Uh, the life bars are being used in the game so it tells it what to load and all that. So 
see font backslash and then there's all the font files that are in the font folder sff sound fight fight good to know go into your system.def really quick and make sure that under fight it says equals fight.def and if you did and if your life bar came with a different name instead of fight.def like mine did you can either leave it and then rename this to, to whatever the life bar is def file is named or just rename the life bar's file to fight.def. I like to rename it to fight.def just because it's easier for me. Okay? Everything looks in order. We can go back. And now let's open up Mujin. Just minimize your little Mujin window. No, it's, it's sorry it's taking a while to load. I mean, I'm running it on high def here on my computer with a fairly low frame rate. So, just bear with me here, folks. Let's go! Okay, and there's your life bars right there. Now. For some life bar big and whatnot, so let's just really quick. Here's what you want to do. You want to go back into your Mujin folder. You want to go to your data. And I... Th oh, which one is it? I think it's Mujin config, Mujin.cfg. You want to hit control F and then type in for video win. There it is right there. And now you're going to want to see... You're going to look for something right here. It's called double res. Right here double res it says equals zero change that to four and now you can't leave the window the same height it is right now so let's just change it to 640 by 480 which is a good 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 height or good size or whatever 640 by 480 save it go back Open up Mujin one more time. I think this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but whatever. Ooh, big window. Now what I like to do is I like to just go to mean everything version. And there's your Let's go. Prepare to strike now. New life bars. Well, I hope this tutorial is very helpful and whatnot towards all of you newcomers to Mujin. So, until next time, peace.